Alright, how we do, folks? Your boy, Marcos1225, numbers after the name. We interrupt here the Elden Ring Freestyle Fridays to bring you a little Cuphead DLC action. Cuphead last course, or the final last course, or whatever we put in the title of the video. I thought it was gonna be long, man, because these enemies, these bosses have a lot of long names, man. Um, my couple very quick impressions over here running through the DLC, and I'll kind of do it on the game's beating a little bit further, is damn, I forgot how good Cuphead was. I forgot how good it plays, I forgot how good it looks. Uh, it's just been a while. Uh, and also, uh, kind of short. Uh, the DLC is just kind of short, which, uh, yeah, that's up to me. I should have maybe looked into it and seen how much it was. I noticed it was eight bucks. I thought that was a weird price to begin with. Um, but I, you know, I didn't want. I did a media blackout on it because I knew it was more Cuphead. I knew it like Cuphead. So I didn't want to know much about it. But a little bit on me. But once again, even if I knew about how short it was, it still would have sucked because I just want more Cuphead. It's so difficult to make and. I don't know, I, I thought about replaying through the whole game again, but damn, it's so hard. I was like, I don't know if I want to do that right now, but I think there'll definitely come a day where I sit down and just replay through the whole thing and get that fix in right there. So, specifically over here in this boss, man, the first phase we already kind of went through over there, pretty simple, just a bunch of different stuff he does over there, but it's all pretty avoidable. This second phase, the big thing is avoiding, or at least the big thing to me was avoiding this kind of red and stuff that comes out of this uh, vinyl play over here. I think you get a couple extra hits there to hurt her, and that's it. And then over here, I kind of aim, and you want to hit this slug here at the beginning of, as you can. I assume it's a slug, actually. I think about it. And I never fully understood this tongue part here. Um, I, 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 mean, I managed to, like, dodge it and kind of live and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, it pokes out and kind of, you don't want to be on the side that it pokes out. Because it might just hit you by poking out, and also it sticks its tongue out and doesn't throw this other thing at you. I think you hurt the, like, snout thing, like, if you just shoot it, even during this time. That's how you have damage on them. As you can tell, I'm not really doing that much of a good job of doing that. But I believe that's kind of what's happening here. And even there, I got lucky that he went up top and not at the bottom. You can kind of tell a little bit where he's going by just how he's looking, but it's very difficult. I I'd recommend just leave that side alone, whatever side he's pointing at, and go from there. But it's ultimately avoidable, and I presume that since the tongue is pink, you could also parry it. As you can tell, I'm not really that good at parrying. Now, this is one little quick thing over here that hits you real quick. And I think it might be the only boss in the DLC that does this, where it says knockout, but it's not the regular knockout. And then you still got to hit this guy. Thankfully, it's not a lot of hits. But I was like, yo, cool. I was like, well, play with me. Because I was about to put the controller down, go end the video, be like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I forgot about the grade thing and all that jazz. But he would have got me. You know how pissed I would have been if I had to go do the whole thing again. This one only took me about 15 minutes, though, so it wasn't too, too bad. But come on, man. That's slick. And then I was ready for the rest of the Cuphead bosses to do that, this whole DLC. But they didn't. So, less. Pretty sweet.